everyone. Okay, I'm gonna get going fast here because I need to get to Mass. Daily Mass is something that's offered in the Catholic Church. And it's Saturday here, not many have Saturday Mass, but I am blessed in my diocese, so I need to get moving. But I wanted to let everyone know that in Mass, the whole world reads the same readings. So today I wanted to read you a little bit of the Gospel because today's small act of love is a little bit difficult for some. I know because I have been there, done that, and I'll share what I'm talking about after I read this. So glasses on. Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 through 48. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers and sisters only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. So love your neighbor, right? Pray for those who persecute you, that you may be part of your heavenly Father's family. <laughs> and it's hard to pray for people who have hurt you. It's hard to forgive people who hurt you. But only through God are you going to be able to truly Love that person. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be best buddies with them or you have to rekindle whatever former relationship you had. You just need to let it go. Let it go. Forgiveness is letting go. Even if they intended to hurt you or they haven't apologized, you holding on to that resentment is like you trying to punish them by drinking the poison yourself. So today, our small act of love is to pray for those who persecute us. Pray for our enemies. And who knows when you're in that prayer and you're wishing the good for the other person, if your heart still feels disdain for that person, then ask God to change your heart. Lord, I cannot forgive like you forgive me, but I need your forgiveness. I really do. And please change my heart toward this person that I may pray for them and love them, which means wishing the best for them because that Lord is what you call me to do. And when he answers that prayer and you've asked him in and you've asked him to forgive those people for you, your heart will change. It's the coolest thing ever because it happened to me twice with two people in my life and one was a family member. And my life with that person is 180 degrees different. Different, better, loving. I love that person so much. God can do amazing things. So even though this may not be an outward gesture, and by the way, it might because in your prayer, God may put on your heart to send that person a note, to text them, to write them a letter maybe, or to do something that shows them you forgive them and that you love them. Pray on it. Find that person in your heart and take it to Jesus because he will heal it. And there is such freedom in it. Oh, I can't tell you. I wish I could, but I can't. It's a feeling that I, I am so grateful for and I thank him all the time for letting that go. It's like such a weight off of your shoulders. Alrighty, everyone, have a beautiful day. Go try to get outside a little bit. We had, if you go to my Facebook, personal Facebook page, I posted on my story these birds. I mean, it was like an orchestra of spring birds, the red winged blackbirds, the robins, all these other birds. And it was just glorious because I'm looking at a bunch of snow 
and I am so excited for spring, that springtime renewal. I just can't wait to get out there and bring love to the world and you too, because I love you, God loves you, and he wants you to have a blessed and inspired day. <laughs> Take care.